It was perfect. It was edgy. Everything I love about Gareth. He came again, and I'm really excited. I can't wait to wear that. You're making everybody look otherworldly. I like to see it more like a moth's wing, that it's just so delicate that it might disintegrate, you know, delicate but deadly. It's a boring word for such a romantic show, but necessary is what comes to mind when I think about Gareth Pugh's latest collection, because it was a necessary expansion of his fashion vocabulary. What did you think of the show? Very surprised to see Gareth work in a palette other than black and white. And it felt very expensive and luxurious and like a real craftsmanship. It was just a conscious decision to kind of just get rid of, for a while at least anyway, certain things that had been around a while and it's just part of the development. It was very beautiful. It was a lot more romantic and it was a lot softer and dreamier. That was very satisfying to see that and to see that step. I think he's always been strong, but he's just getting stronger and stronger. And I thought there's a lot of really wearable things there as well, not just beautiful art pieces. It felt like a move on, I thought. I mean, it's definitely a move on. I mean, for, for example, you know, just because he's tra working with flu, with, uh, with softer fabrics, the slashing and the actual ribbon work is absolutely beautiful. He really rises to the challenge every time he shows here. Are you drawn to the f notion of the apocalypse the way Gareth is? I don't really see it as the end. It's all about a kind of new beginning, in a sense and stripping things back and then starting again with something that might seem fractured but essentially is very pure. You know, the idea of this whole, like, weird kind of world, rather than it being a costume, it's more of a garment. Trying to get it back to something very raw and very, it's not so much industrial, but quite tragic and romantic. I think it's necessary for me to do that. It's nice to see someone that keeps to what they believe in and evolved quietly at their own pace. It's consistent and it's always really good. And if this is what the end of the world looks like, then it's not so bad after all. No, it's beautiful. <laughs>